Hello champions! Now just imagine two friends Aman and Mohit went out on a hot summer day. Aman drank plenty of water before leaving home, but Mohit didn't drink anything. Now under this harsh climate, both of them started sweating. But here is the twist. Mohit's body needs to save water to avoid dehydration. So how does his body will handle this situation? That's where an amazing concept called countercurrent mechanism of kidney comes into picture. Let's understand this in detail. In loop of Henle, the filtrate flows down in descending limb and it flows up in the ascending limb. At the same time, blood in the vasa recta starts flowing in the opposite direction. This is actually called countercurrent. This opposite flows help to create a medullary osmotic gradient from 300 milliosmo per liter in the cortex to 1200 milliosmo per liter in the inner medulla. But who creates this gradient? Well, this gradient is built by sodium chloride and urea. Sodium chloride leaves the ascending limb of loop of Henle and enters the vasa recta and again comes back. Urea cycles from collecting duct to loop of Henle and again back. What happens next? These salty gradients pulls water out of the collecting duct and that's how our body saves water and makes the urine even four times more concentrated than the filtrate. So I hope you understood this concept of countercurrent mechanism. For more such amazing concepts, do like and subscribe our Extra Marks Need channel.